Originally called Milo Junction, Derby, Maine was the interchange point between the Bangor and Piscatus and the Bangor and Kathleen Iron Works Railroads. In 1891, these two railroads merged and became the Bangor and Aroostook. In 1906, the BNA decided to build a large car and locomotive repair shop at this location. They also built a company town to house the workers and their families. The shops in town consisted of a two-story office building, planing mill, powerhouse, eight-stall roundhouse, a locomotive machine shop, and car repair shop that was connected by a 75 by 369 foot transfer table. The railroad also built a 45 room hotel, various stores for the employees, and 118 homes that contained indoor bathrooms, hot water boilers, and electric lighting. Following World War II, improvements in roads and the construction of the interstate system allowed trucks to carry more freight which slowly eroded the Bangor and Aroostook's revenues. Also, the major recession during the late 70s and 1980s didn't help the railroad situation much. And by 1990, the Bangor and Aroostook was barely hanging on. In 1995, the BNA, along with a few other failing short lines in southern Canada and the northeastern United States, were acquired by Iron Road Railways, Incorporated. Now renamed the Bangor and Ashtrook System, the large derby shops were used to rebuild and repaint equipment belonging to all of IRR's various railroads. In 2002, the combined rail system entered bankruptcy and its assets were purchased by Real World Holdings. Now renamed the Montreal, Maine and Atlantic Railway, the new railroad used the Derby shops not only to repair its own motive power, but also engines that belonged to Real World locomotive leasing. The MM and A operated until 2013 when the railroad was forced into bankruptcy as a result of the Lachmanatic rail disaster. On July 6, 2013, a parked, unattended, 73-car freight train carrying Bakken Formation crude oil lost its brakes due to a locomotive mechanical issue and also it was found there were not enough handbrakes set to hold the train in place. So it rolled 7.5 miles down at 1.2% grade from Nantes, Quebec to Lac Manatic and ended up derailing in the center of town. The fire and explosion of multiple loaded tank cars resulted in 47 people dead and more than 30 buildings destroyed or damaged. In 2014, MM&A's assets were sold at auction to Railroad Acquisition Holdings, LLC, which established a new railroad named the Central Maine and Quebec Railway to operate the former MMA rail lines. In 2020, the Canadian Pacific Rail System purchased the CM&Q. The purchase included the Derby shops. 
since CP Rail has its own existing locomotive and car repair shops, the future of a 100 plus year old derby shop is uncertain at this point. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also support us on Patreon. Links are in the description.